Hello amazing people. Welcome back to my channel guys. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're fine. Hope your day went well or your day is going well. Hope you're generally fine guys. Thank you once again guys for always coming back to this channel. I appreciate you guys a whole lot. Today I'll be showing you how to make this very beautiful elastic waist children jumpsuit. Let's get to it. So here is the African print that I'm using here. Yeah, so I'm just going ahead to you know lay this on my table so that we can get started already. Okay yes guys so here i'm cutting out for um the upper part first which is the half length cut and so you can see um the half length i'm using here is 13 inches don't forget this for a child 13 inches i'm just adding extra two inches of allowance okay for um the seam allowance and also for the elastic casing okay yes guys so i'm going to go ahead now and uh, you know mention that out so i'm using the same width for both the front and the back and that's because it's not going to have a zipper space but rather there will be a slit at the back there to enable you know it to pass through the head and some a little bit of ease okay yes this is going to be an elastic waist as well so i'm just going ahead to you know pin down my fabric together so that we can um, have it in place so that two inches extra uh, allowance i'm adding i'm just taking 0 0.5 inches which is going to serve for the shoulder the shoulder joining okay why the 1.5 inches is going to be what for the elastic casing so from the top there i'm marking the chest line at seven yeah the chest line for this child at seven why um the half length of course i'm taking it at 13 but plus that 0 0.5 inches right for the shoulder joining that's 13.5 so what i have left for the lowest partner is just that 1.5 inches which i said earlier is going to be what for the elastic casing okay as we go along you understand better so the next thing i'm doing now is to take note of my three by eight inches mark so i can get my slope so i'm taking uh, one inches for the slope there and also marking down my three inches there so i'm going ahead what well, to connect so i can get my slope here so you can see this now yeah so that's it here so um taking note of um the shoulder width for this child is 13 13 divided by 2 that's 6.5 okay 6.5 then i'll add 0 0.5 inches to that making it 7 so i'm still going ahead to mark that out all the way or to the chest line there so i'll go ahead and draw my lines okay yeah so the next thing i want to do now is to take note of my circumference of the bust measurement here is um 24 divided by 4 that's i have 6 then i'm going to add extra 2 inches of allowance there okay so and also for the waistline there i'm just taking out 0 0.5 inches from it so i'm marking it at 22 divided by 4 5.5 then i'll just go ahead and mark what 2 inches as well okay so that's it here so just going ahead to you know connect these two points together so you can see this now yeah so that's it here so coming down to um to create my armhole curve now so from that um, slow point to the chest line is eight so getting the midpoint there i have four so i'm going to go ahead and mark four inches there and of course i'll go inwards by 0 0.5 inches so we do this almost regularly right so just to get what a curve for the front um, armhole there so i'm going ahead to create my curve then and also from that same midpoint i'll also create a curve for my back armhole okay so that's just it there okay yes guys so the next thing i want to do now is to take the neck width so i'm using a neck width of three inches here okay why for the um front neckline i'm using a neck depth of three as well so i'm going ahead to create a curve like you see me doing now neck width of three neck depth of three so i'm going to go ahead and you know trim out the sides so i'll be cutting out for the um the back um, neckline afterwards okay so i'm just notching that um neck width there so i want to cut out from the front armhole first then i'll placing it back so i can cut off the shoulders together as well okay so just cutting out the shoulders together okay so i'm done with the front piece there okay so going ahead to cut out the neckline yeah so for the back piece now uh, what i'll do is also to use the same neck width of three inches of course yeah then I'll, I'll create a slit okay neck width of three but i'm going to do a neck depth of two inches so this one is for the back neck width of three neck depth of two okay so then from there i'll just create a slit of about eight inches okay so eight inches for the slit now this is just to enable the hair to pass through just like what i said since we're not fixing um a zipper at the back so i'm going ahead to slit it open right now 
okay yeah you can choose to you know go um beyond that if you want or even a little bit higher okay yeah so that's just it here you can see the front view and the back views are all right so moving on to cut out the sleeve now so i'm going to cut out for two sleeves i have this piece so this is just a short length sleeve okay now using a cap size of three inches remember this for a child so i'm just using three inches for this going ahead to mark my line so the width we have here is the arm holster circumference divided by two okay plus about one inches extra allowance now i'm going ahead to get the midpoint of that slant line there eight divided by two that is four so this is how we will create our sleeve i think i have several videos on this and uh, you know i have them all linked up in the description box in case you are not familiar so this is just creating an inverted s here so before cutting off just to confirm that the curve you have there matches up with what you just drafted you can see the top and bring it back in i have about nine inches there so trying to confirm this now and i have about 9.5 which is more than okay right yeah so that's it here then from there i'll take note of the length the length of the sleeve i want it to be um six inches that's what i'm marking out for the uh, length for the sleeve okay yeah so i'm going to add extra two inches for um you know the hemming allowance so 1.5 is okay for me but i'll use 0 0.5 inches to join it from the shoulder part okay so i'm trying to take off that 0 0.5 inches as well so what i have is 1.5 inches which i'll use for hemming the sleeve okay yeah so that's just it then for the circumference it's 11 round sleeve is 11 divided by 2 i have 5.5 i'm just adding one inches extra and i'm going ahead towards you know mark this out together so you can see our sleeve is ready just go ahead and cut this out there's nothing um you know extra here at all yeah so that's it guys for um the sleeve so after this now the next thing of course we want to do now is to go cut the lowest part which is going to be what um the trouser part okay so you can see i'm just going ahead to notch that part where we'll be folding yeah so that's it here guys so moving on now the next one is this trouser part so you can see i have my piece but just to confirm the length uh, we are using here so the full length of this jumpsuit is 15. so when we take away half length of 13 we are left with 37 right yeah so we have 37 for the length so remember um that's 1.5 inches for the elastic casing remember we indicated that for the top okay so we're going to be re repeating that also for the trouser part for the top part so i'm going ahead well, to indicate that 1.5 inches okay then after that then i can now take the length of my trouser and of course adding some same allowance so what i'm doing now is to what indicate that 1.5 inches first okay for the elastic casing just like we did for the top okay that's just what i'm doing here so from that line now i will now take the actual length of what 37 inches so after taking that um you know half length of 13 from our full length of 50 that's how we got that 37 okay you can see that now from that 37 just marked out i'm just adding extra 2 or 2.5 inches that i'll be using to hem um the lowest part of the trouser that's just all i'm doing here okay yeah so i'm going ahead to mark out the straight line there so you can see this now so you can see now our we have the full length we're working with so the excesses i don't need i'm just going ahead to um trim that out okay yeah so that's it here now so having this now the next thing to do now is to start fixing in what uh, my measurement first okay yeah so taking note from that point now which which is um, standing as the waistline i'm marking out seven inches for the hip line so for my waist i'm taking seven inches why to get the crotch depth what i would do is to divide the hip circumference which is 26 for this child 26 divided by four i have 6.5 go ahead and add extra four to five inches to it yes four to five inches to it so me i'm adding five inches which makes it what 11.5 so for my waist i'm going to mark 11.5 which should be standing as my crotch depth remember this is a jumpsuit if it was just a regular pant trouser just two inches would have been enough okay one to two inches would have been enough. but this is a jumpsuit i'm adding as much as four to five inches and remember it's also for a child they need that extra ease to be able to move and sit around and all that okay yeah so the coming to the lowest point i'm marking 1.5 
y to the top point there i'm going inwards by what 0.75 so what i'm doing now is just to create what a shape more like a hip shape uh by the size of this trouser so all these points i just did now i'll connect them all to the hip line okay there's nothing to be confused about at that waistline i moved in by 0.75 why at the lowest point there i moved in by what two inches or 1.5 inches rather okay so i'm going ahead what to connect them all to the hip line just like you see me doing now you can see so by the time you're done you know connecting these two points together you can see we have our our trouser already shipped out there right now so from this shaped out lines now that's where you take every other measurement that you need so you need to take note of that as well so coming to my hip line now the first thing i'm taking my hip circumference divided by four that is 6.5 right i'm adding just two inches extra allowance okay now from that um, crotch line now also put the same hip measurement of um 26 divided by 4 6.5 plus 2 inches extra allowance okay you can see that now so i'll go ahead and connect that um, from the hip line to the crotch line i'm also going to extend it to the waistline yeah i don't really need to put my waist measurement remember it's going to have an elastic up on the waist there okay but i'm still going to confirm what i have on that same waist which just to be very sure is the right measurement there okay now on that crotch line there i'm just going ahead to add 1.5 inches extra to create my actual crotch so i'll take it from that hip line you can see what i'm doing i'm just creating a curve so here i have my crotch there okay yes guys so confirming what i i have for my waist the waist circumference i'm using here now is 24 if i divide it by four i have six then plus the extra two inches of allowance so you can see that we have the actual waist measurement there and it's going to have an elastic so i choose to now increase that waistline a bit trust me guys this is optional okay yeah if you like you can leave it like that but i just want to add extra uh, since i know the elastic we still bring everything together so that's why i'm extending that so there's nothing to be confused about you can leave it on the way it is straight or you can just choose to extend it a bit that's why i did that then on the lowest point which is i'm doing the round ankle which is 12 12 divided by 2 6 so taking note that we are dividing by 2 at this point right yeah only the hip and the waist uh we divided by four so that one is divided by two plus the extra two inches of allowance so i'm just going ahead to connect it to that crotch line there so you can see guys our trouser has been drafted out you can see how this is looking already so that's it guys so i'll go ahead to cut this out guys if you've not liked this video please don't forget to do that like and if it's not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe i appreciate that a lot thank you guys yeah so moving on now i'll cut out for the um, the back piece now so i'm just placing this um the front piece over it now so we're just practically doing um almost the same thing here so i'm just going to trace out the sides why for the upper part i'm going to extend the crotch depth okay so on that crotch line now you can see me now extending that crotch line there so i'm going to add two inches extra okay why for the every other part i'm just adding one inches that's it that's just it here two inches extra for the crotch why every other part i'm just adding one inches so at the end at the end of the day we are still going to have the same exact shape so you can see this now that's just exactly what i did there's nothing extra to and guys that's it guys i'm just going ahead to cut this out so um this is an elastic way so there's no need for me to really um increase the back um length upward okay yeah so if you want to you can do that as well but there's no really need for me to do that so i'm just going ahead to notch all those necessary points the hem lines and the elastic waist points so that it will be quite visible so guys we're done here you can see our trouser cutout is ready what is left now is to go join this entire piece together yeah so the first thing i'm going to do now is to first of all sew the crotch for both the front and the back so i'm going to go ahead to sew the crotch like you see me demonstrating now now after that then i'll go to the um the top now i'll go ahead and finish the neckline you can use a facing if you want to i'm going to be using a bias okay for the neckline i'm also going to add in a little strip at the edge of that back slit okay i'll use my fabric to create a slit this is just for enable a tie okay if you can choose to fix a button and a loop if you want so here i've done that you can see i've used my bias to clean 
filling up the neckline. So you can see this now. You can see that I've attached the strip as well. We'll be using for a tie. You can see this, guys. This is all ready. Yeah, and so um, this is the sleeve as well. I've gone ahead to um, clean up the lowest point of the sleeve. And also the trouser, you can see we have attached... Um, the crotch line there okay yes guy yeah so um the next thing to do now is to attach the top to the lowest so i'm going to go ahead now i'm drawing my top to my trouser so now remember that 1.5 inches for elastic case and right now this is the point we're going to be making use of it so you're going to join now we're going to be sewing on it first of all you can see me notching the center point of my top just to be sure that we have it properly aligned so that center point will match with the center point of my trouser which happens to be the point where we already joined the crotch line there you can see me holding that firmly now after that now you go ahead and sew so we are sewing on that 1.5 inches line okay yes we're sewing on that line so you can see me using my pin to hold on down to demonstrate that we go ahead and sew and here is what we'll have after that so once you're done sewing if you flip it inwards it is time for you to now create the elastic casing so you can either fold this towards the trouser or you fold it along the top part but i'll prefer you fold it towards the top part okay yeah so you're going to sew just fold in half of an inch and then fold again so you're just going to sew so this is just going to create what your elastic casing okay at the end of the day your elastic what will be passing through guys that's it so this is it guys now we've got finished it for both the front and the back so you can see i quickly did a demonstration here so what i did here was you know the the excesses we have to make that food is doubled right so i just decided to trim out one if you look closely i trim out one of it just to half length level so that it will not be bulky when i am full folding okay that's just what i did here yeah so go finish this up and here guys we have this already you can see i've created my elastic casing here you can see this for both the front and the back you can see these guys yeah so it's time to fix our elastic right now now the um waist circumference we're working with is 24 i'll take away two inches making it 22 so that 22 inches is what i used to cut my elastic but i have to split it into two 11 11 because we are doing it separately for both the front and the back so i'll go ahead now and attach uh, my elastic in so you can see now i'm passing my elastic through that casing we've just created just gently do this okay so you'll be mindful of the edges of that elastic so that it doesn't go inwards totally so once you see that you have just a tiny little bit out quickly hold that firmly um, with a pin okay yeah so that's what i'm doing then you keep moving till you bring out to the other end again and uh, when you get to the other end, you don't have to drag it out well just a tiny little bit protruding out you also hold that firmly so here you you're holding with a pin is where you're going to what so you're going to be sewing it okay to have it in place and you can see how this is looking already so i'll do the same thing for the other um piece as well okay just doing the exact same process here and so that's it guys so once we're done okay you can see how beautiful this is looking already you can go ahead now and join the sides okay after stitching down the elastic um, point there join both the front and the back piece and you go ahead and sew it at the shoulder there okay so after sewing um, it at the shoulder as you see me using my pin to demonstrate as well the next thing to do now is to fix the sleeve this is the point where you can fix your sleeve okay after fixing your sleeve then you go ahead and join the sides after joining the side then the crotch take it up making sure that the crotch are matching each other you take it from one point to the other end and also the other way around then the final thing to do will be to hem the lowest point of the trouser guys and this um, pants will be ready i'll go finish this up yeah and here guys i'm done you can see i've gone ahead to you know attach it all and very important also clean up the edges very very important so i'm going ahead to turn it all um to the right side like this is so beautiful our plant trouser is ready like our jumpsuit is ready here guys it's all ready look at how beautiful this is just wear and tie and rock it the way you want the only thing this needs now is a very very good place that is it guys we have come to the end end of this um, tutorial thank you so much guys for joining me today if you find this helpful please don't forget to like this video share and also if you've not subscribed don't forget to do that as well thank you so much guys for joining me again today till i see you on the next one
have a wonderful day